हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड कोरिलेशन रिसीवर्स जनरली देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिसीवर्स फर्स्ट वन इज नॉन कोरिलेशन रिसीवर एंड सेकंड वन इज कोरिलेशन रिसीवर्स इन कोरिलेशन रिसीवर्स द रिसीवर विल बी having the knowledge of signal that is transmitted by a transmitter in a non correlation receivers receiver will not have any idea regarding the signal that is transmitted by the transmitter so here correlation receivers will be having the knowledge about the signal that is transmitted by the transmitter mathematically we can say the correlation receiver or the optimum receivers for an adaptive white gaussian noise channel when the transmitted signal which is s1 of t s2 of t and so on up to sm of t are even likely such type of receivers are known as correlation receiver this correlation receiver consists of two sub systems first one is detector and second one is decoder first let us understand about detector the detector consists of m correlators it will have m number of correlators so this is one correlator integration of 0 to t dt likewise it will be having another correlator integration of 0 to t dt and so on up to m number of correlators so here it will be integration of 0 to t dt for this m number of correlators orthonormal basis functions are supplied so first orthonormal basis function so let us call that as phi 1 of t so here it is connected to correlator second orthonormal basis function which is phi 2 of t which is supplied to the correlator likewise it will be having n orthonormal basis functions so this is one more orthonormal basis function phi n of t so which is supplied to the correlator so these orthonormal basis functions are generated locally so these bank of correlators will operate on the received signal x of t so x of t is the received signal so on this received signal so these bank of correlators will operate and they will produce the observation vector x so output of this will be x1 output of second function will be x2 likewise we will get output as x n so this diagram shows a detector or it is also known as modulator now let us understand the maximum likelihood decoder in maximum likelihood decoder observation vector x is considered for this observation vector m signal vectors are multiplied so we will take the signal vectors which is s1 the second vector which is s2 and so on 
up to the last vector which is s m so here the decoder will multiply the observation vector by corresponding m signal vector s1 s2 and so on up to sm the resulting product are successfully summed using the accumulator to form the corresponding set of inner product which is x to the power of t s k so since it is with the first accumulator and signal vector so we'll write this as s1 in the same way we can write one more accumulator here accumulator and so on we can write one more accumulator here so output of second accumulator will be x to the power of t s2 and so on output of uh, the last accumulator will be x to the power of t s m these inner products are corrected for the fact that the transmitted signal energies may be unequal so that's why we'll use a summation symbol and we'll take that value as 1 by 2 e1 likewise for all the inner product we'll take the summation of 1 by 2 energy signal value so finally here it will be 1 by 2 e m finally the largest one in the resulting set of number is selected and an appropriate decision on the transmitted message is thereby made so finally the estimation is made to obtain m cap so here we can connect So output of this will be estimated as m cap. This is known as signal transmission decoder. This is about correlation receivers. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.